What's up guys? So today I'm going to be teaching you guys a move that I use in this game that actually helps me out a lot. It's basically shielding the ball. I know a lot of you know what shielding the ball is. Basically, it's basically like holding L trigger or L2 on the PlayStation to basically shield the ball away from an opponent. But there's actually kind of more to it that helps you out a lot in this game. As you play it, you'll notice that they basically allow you to turn your body really quickly in the same direction that the guy is coming from so basically like if i'm running straight and the guy is coming from the right side right or if i'm running running from the top and he's coming from the right side of me and i want to shield the ball what that does is that it shields the ball so your player's body goes into the position of the opposition player and he turns his body so that he can shield the ball but he also faces a different direction more quickly i'm going to show you guys an example so we're going to use an example here like Bale. So Bale is basically running here on the side and you can see that an op like hit the Barcelona player is trying to challenge him, right? I want you guys to notice that the moment that I use L trigger, watch the change in direction that my player has in order for me to basically move somewhere else, right? It's basically a faster version of a fake shot, but it changes the direction quickly where you want it to go it's very confusing to understand as i say it but you guys will understand as i get close to the player so for instance i'm close here with rakitic i shield the ball i can pass it upwards there it just makes it smoother see how modric just turns his body instantly the ball is still in place right but i'm close to modric i shield the ball i can pass it to someone someone behind me right is there any other fix yet? it's such a helpful thing especially when you're doing driven pass and you hold our tri l trigger because you shield the ball away from the opponent and you also change your direction when he's going from certain angles right so it helps you in order for you to make certain passes uh and certain opportunities happen i usually use l trigger a lot when i'm doing a driven pass to my players for instance if i'm doing it right here i'm using l trigger right there right and the reason why i'm using l trigger is because it allows you to shield the ball and as, as well as control the ball because if you only if you just see that's shielding right there if you only do a driven pass and you're not shielding the ball there's more of a, a chance that the opposition player will get the ball because you're not shielding the ball away from the opponent for instance here i'm gonna pass the bail i'm shielding the ball so you see how he changed his direction instantly as i shielded the ball for instance again here with cruz shields the ball he faces the opposite direction Go with Benzema, shield the ball, he faces the opposite direction. That's a really important thing. And people need to understand that when you do that, when you shield the ball, the ball is still in place, right? You're not moving the ball, so it gives you a bigger opportunity to do more things in game. You can open up space because I do it a lot just for layoff passes in general. Like I'll just do this, do that, and then like lay it off to someone, right? It's really, really good. Again, shield the ball, lay it off. It's really, really effective. I use it a lot in this game because it helps me It helps me make plays. It helps me change direction without me having to do a fake shot because the time that it does to make or to do a fake shot is higher than shielding the ball because you're doing this. See, there's more emphasis in that, right? But if you shield the ball, the ball is in place and you face it in the other direction instantly. There's no delay in what you're doing. I know it's a very, very small thing, but it actually helps people a lot to actually know that that exists. Because it's not just shielding the ball, it's also facing the opposite direction of where the player is coming from. So you can face directions more quickly than just doing uh, a fake shot in the opposite direction. Because if I'm facing this direction and I do a fake shot, there's more emphasis, right? But if I have a player that's trying to get the ball from me and I shield it, he turns instantly, right? I don't have to do a fake shot. I don't need to put emphasis on the ball because he can turn very easily. He doesn't have to, you know, waste time on the ball because he has to do all triggers, right? I mean, he or he has to do a fake shot because again, fake shots like this are have more emphasis than doing just this and stopping the ball in place while changing direction. So it does help a lot. Uh, this is shielding again, fake shot instantly go to the net finesse like it helps you a lot man driven passes while holding l trigger will help you a lot use it because it will help you shield the ball away from an opponent as well as 
make opportunities happen because sometimes your players will make runs on the left side and the right side and you can just lay the ball off them. I do it so much in this game because it helps a lot. I also use it um, when I pass in the middle. I hold L trigger so I shield the ball and then at the very moment that he touches the ball, I do a fake shot instantly so I can cut in really quickly, right? Because sometimes they don't expect it. So it's a really quick way of just moving around with the ball and it's actually really effective. So that's it for this video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's just a very small thing that actually makes a huge difference in terms of gameplay aspects because it helps you open up so much space in the field as well as, you know, basically not trying to lose the ball. I know we don't try to lose the ball, but when you hold L trigger, it shields the ball away from the opponent as well as change direction and open up space in your field. So it's actually a really effective uh, move to use in this game. So I understand that L trigger dribbles work as well. I don't usually use L trigger dribbles that often. I usually just shield the ball because it's just a way of interpreting it into your game style. So that's why I use it so much because it helps me in so many situations. And I hope that this video will help you guys too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a thumbs up on it. And I will see you guys for the next video or the stream. Peace.